Oh, uh, the Nets got swept. Yeah, awesome. That's pretty interesting. Couldn't happen to a nicer team. Sure. No doubt, no doubt. Uh, I saw that series as being flat. Like flatter. Kyrie Irving. Oh, yeah, okay. So uh, the, the main premise uh, we're going to talk about is Ben Simmons. It's very mm-hmm. odd that he did not come back at all sure. here since the trade. And so a lot of people want to talk about mental health, right? Right. Is the reason. And, well, okay, so he had uh, some difficulties with his back. But I, I, what's your thought about this? Because a lot of pros have been coming out against him. Uh, as far as not wanting to give it up for his teammates. So, yeah. Yeah. So I, I told you earlier that uh, I saw a, a thing where he told uh, Nets management that one of the things that was exacerbating his back pain was the anxiety he felt about trying to play. And that begat his soreness of his back. I was the biggest bunch of crap I've ever heard. I get it because I, I deal with a sore back every single day. I mean, you're talking about a guy who has to take a leave uh, to mow the lawn, who has to take a leave to uh, play golf and then have to take a leave after I finish playing golf because my back is completely shot. Right. <clears throat> but I'm still going to play. I'm still going to play. Yeah. So you and I are obviously we're not professional athletes. I'm there's not saying well, anything wait. like that. Yeah, I, I am a member. <laughs> so, uh, but our injuries are catching up with us. Absolutely. Yeah. As we grow older, but from, from the injuries we sustain through sports. Yeah. Correct. Mostly. Correct. And, and sports is going to ruin you. And, you know, when you're <laughs> stealing $40 million from somebody, uh, I, I think you, ha- you have to make an attempt at least. It, it, that's my opinion. Yeah. You have to make an attempt to go out there. If you can only give them 10 minutes, give them 10 minutes. Your teammates are going to be fine. They're going to be like, all right, man, I understand. Because injuries suck. We all get it. But – this is not against the mental health aspect of that. Uh, I've struggled with it, but in no way, shape or form would I ever think to not go out there and do my job. Yeah. For my guys, for my guys, screw the job, screw the money for my guys. And it, it just, I think it's it smacks of privilege that uh, these kids have now. And, but I understand it. So we have to progress in the mental health field. I understand that, but you still have to go out there and perform, man. You're a professional athlete. You have to have some mental fortitude to even make it there. Right. I mean, we both agree on that. So you have to have some of that. Right. So I, I think as we talked earlier, we kind of equated it to uh, some athletes who have um, famously come out with their struggles with mental health. Uh, Naomi Osaka in tennis, uh, Simone Biles in yeah. gymnastics, who have been very public with their struggles. Uh, Naomi Osaka is actually withdrawn from tournaments. Uh, famously, Simone Biles did not participate in a few events at the Olympics. And, you know, so obviously it's real. It's real. There's no doubt. The difference between them. Um, Naomi Osaka does not get paid unless she plays. Right. Simone Biles does not win unless she competes. Right. 
Ben Simmons got paid. He got paid. All those fancy ass outfits he had on the sidelines. They were awesome. Were, be, were because they were awesome. Great. Yeah. Or because he's getting paid not to play. Right. It makes no sense. Uh, yeah, I, so that, that for me is a big struggle. We talked about um, <clears throat> when Andrew Luck summarily retired. Uh, Jim Irsay, the owner of the Colts, said, keep the signing bonus money. Keep it. Uh, Luck, not being an idiot, kept that money. Mm -hmm. Personally, um, I would like to have seen him giving it back. Not that Ursay needed it back. He's a billionaire. He doesn't need this money. It's nothing to him. It's pocket change. However, I would have liked to have seen him return the money just as a gesture to say, you know what? Nope. Didn't earn it. Maybe I earned it in past injuries but I haven't earned it going forward for what I'm about to do. That kind of bothered me a little bit about his passing uh, out of the Colts organization. Like if you accept money to do something, if you accept the responsibility to do something, I feel like you have a responsibility to do something. And I, when we talked earlier about uh, Ben, you likened it to, hey, you know, I don't always feel like getting up and taking my daughter to school. I don't feel like getting up and, and making my daughter's breakfast, mm -hmm. but I do because that's your responsibility. Yeah. And I feel like that's where I kind of get off the Simmons uh, bandwagon. I, I, yeah. I can't do that. You have a responsibility. And again, so this is another thing. It's not for you, man. It's, it's for the team. If once his fellow teammates start not respecting him, that's a tough that's a tough road to hoe. Next year, right? Is he going to play next year? I don't know. I I feel like he doesn't have a real love for the game, which is fine. That's it's all good. Do you, man? Do you? But don't take money that you don't earn. Don't take the money and and the roster spot, right? Yeah. I mean, the Nets clearly needed someone else. Yeah, they need a few other people more than literally any, anyone else. I mean, they they did. So yeah, I mean, you're taking up a roster spot. You're taking their money. You you have no intention, obviously, of uh, performing at all. I, I have a problem with that. Yeah, I, I just I I don't get the. Like, so, okay, Kevin Love, he has came out, has mental issues. He has uh, big-time anxiety. Right. All right. Guess what he's still doing? Playing. He puts it up for his team. And you and I have talked about this. Uh, when we have – and this is stupid stuff, like uh, our early tea time. You get a little, you get anxious and stuff like that. And, but I'm not, I can't bail because these guys are relying on me, relying on me to be there. Right. Right. And that's just the way it is, man. That's the way it goes. You can't use that as an excuse. Um, not at all. That's a great analogy. I mean, look on the first tee box, uh, especially if, if the course is backed up and there's people watching and stuff, I have tremendous anxiety, as, as a lot of amateur golfers do. When you have an audience, you know it. So what are you going to do? Are you just going to go back to your cart, drive back to your car and go home? No. You stand up there, you hit the worst tee shot you've ever hit in your life, yeah. and you go and hit another one, another shot afterwards, and that's what you do. And you get, you get on with life. Get yeah. on with life. Yeah. And <clears throat> there, <laughs> there's no way around it. It's it, mental health is an issue. I'm not saying it's not, but what what are you gonna do? Okay, if you don't want to play basketball, don't play it. 
but don't take 40 million to dress up in the best suits ever. Awesome. And a oh, great suits. I love them. But don't you never do pull them off, but God bless him. I could never pull that off. No, no. Hell, well, hell no. But uh he, you and I love really flamboyant outfits. So um yeah, yeah look, look at both of us right now. <laughs> so yeah. uh I love it. I love every second of it, but come on, man. You can't and then this is another thing that bothered me was okay, so he did his first four on four. And he said he was sore afterward. Yeah. When you haven't worked out in a while, you get sore. I get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely get it. I definitely get it. <laughs> yes. As a part of it, man. Yeah. You know, I, I don't think Kevin Durant and uh, Kyrie Irving and who's not eating because of Ramadan, it, they have some issues. Yeah. Get your ass it's out there. Get your I just ass out of my garage today and I'm sore. And yet I'm sitting here doing my job. Right. Doing my job. Because that's what's required of me. Well, to be fair to Ben Simmons, you are just sitting there. So uh, I am. I am. But I had to climb I'm stairs. I had to climb stairs. Wait. Hey, I'm in studio three, so I climbed stairs. Oh, you did, yeah. yeah. Uh I, I just it blows my mind that so people are going to pass it off as mental health. And I think that's, it's a valid point, but it's too much of an excuse. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a middle ground, like it's okay. Yeah. You have that, but it's too much of an excuse at that point. Right. I mean, you can only use it for so long as well before you bow out and say, Hey, you know what? I've got some anxiety issues. I don't think, uh, professional basketball is the career for me anymore and you bow the hell out yeah i'm not cut out for it that's fine hey, i get it too i mean to, sure. to be up on that stage sure to lay it all on the line i get it i mean that it, it, it's got to be nerve-wracking as hell and i get it however you're accepting the faith and the money of those who employ you You've got to say, no, you know what? I just can't do it. Kevin Durant is getting killed right now in the media, yeah. as he should. As he should, but Kyrie Irving even more so, as he definitely should. As he definitely should as well. But you know what? That's what you signed up for. Right. Just like if, if we get killed on this video for talking our trash, we signed up for it. Right. Kill us. That's fine. Yeah. We signed up for it. No one's, you know, I was watching that Pam and Tommy Lee uh uh Hulu show. We didn't get a tape stolen. No, we're trying to put this out in public. So you should get killed if you sign up for it, but you have to be ready for it. <clears throat> so mm. I just I don't feel sorry for Ben Simmons. I don't either. And I hope he gets well and it discovers what he really wants to do because obviously it ain't basketball. All right. I do too. I hope he lives his best life. <laughs> uh, but quit taking other people's money to live your best life in your best fashion. Yeah. Just like you were talking about Andrew Luck. Dude, retire. Do your thing. I know you went Dude. through it. You went through the gambit. You know, so do it like, nah, that's not for me anymore. I get it. Yeah. So, but I also get what you're saying about give that money back. <laughs> give that money back, baby. Give it. <laughs> and look, uh, if, if billionaires are offering me their money, I'm taking it. I get it. But I'd like to think that there's some integrity as I take their money that I'm going to do to the best of my ability what I said I was going to do. Right. No doubt. Right. But I will take $25 million from Jim Irsay if, he's, if, he, if um, he watches this. I'll, I'll take $25 yeah. 
I'm thinking about posting on Twitter and begging Elon Musk for a few million, a few million. Yeah, he just spent 44. What's the difference? 44 billion, bro. <laughs> I think we're done here. I think we're done.